Hey, I'm Mike Smith, an environmental reporter with the Timespeakune and NOAA.com. And I've got good news this morning. Today we're going to talk about fishing. If you've fished the waters of coastal Louisiana, you're probably somewhat familiar with this scene. You come in from coming back to the dock after a day on the water, and uh, some solemn looking people in wildlife and fisheries t shirts approach you. Sometimes you might be nervous that I accidentally keep uh, an undersized speckled trout. But you don't have to worry. They just want your fish's ear bones. So it's not some ancient ritual or something described in a Dr. John song. Uh, the scientists use these ear bones to figure out a lot about the secret lives of fish. They call them otoliths, and they're these tiny pair of bones that they use to do this. And these otoliths contain rings, just like the trunk of a tree, and that tells the scientists how old the fish are. And when that's combined with other info, like size, weight, reproductive data, it reveals a whole lot about fish populations, and that in turn goes into these bigger assessments on fish populations in area waters. That then becomes a basis for how we come up with our rules and regulations for fishing in Louisiana. So analyzing these ear bones has taught us lots over the years. Here's one that's super interesting. Uh, red snapper, for instance. We used to think they lived to about 10 years or so. We now know they live to 50 years old or even longer. And we know this because scientists determined some decades ago that uh, there was radioactive carbon in their ear bones, which they traced to nuclear testing in the 1940s. To read more, go to NOLA.com.